morning on the John Mayaki Show. We want to appreciate every one of you joining us on this program this morning. This morning we're going to be having a one-on-one -on -one with uh, my guest in the studio. Um, we're going to be discussing ESAN agenda. This morning we're having Honorable Festus Edugele. He, he was member representing ESAN Southeast in the State House of Assembly in Edo State. And this morning we're having him as our guest in the studio. Good morning, Honorable, and welcome to the John Mayaki Studio. Good morning. Thank you so very much. Uh, it's been a while in, in Edo politics. How has it been? You've been member of House of Assembly before. Uh, before you went into the House of Assembly, uh, uh, what were you doing? Well, um, Edo politics is very interesting, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of things are happening presently. Yeah. Taking your question from that angle, when I came in, before I came in, I was in Abuja. Yeah. In short, an Abuja-based person. Yeah. Came into Edo State because it came into Edo State because a time in my life I said, "Let me go and render service." Yeah. Okay, I'm a quantity surveyor by profession, if you may know this. Okay. And then I was in practice, serious practice. So I had my office, I had my establishment, and then. Um, but it, why, before then, I why doing why in Abuja? Uh, my life has been how to render people, mm -hmm. especially people from my, mm -hmm. especially people from my constituency, from Asan descent. In Abuja, they all know me. My house was uh, the hub, mm -hmm. Ubiaja meeting, Asan meeting. A lot of them were being hurt, so I, I played a critical role, okay. yeah, and also tried to help people who were in need, mm -hmm. like uh, giving them grant for school, helping them to get employment, because I worked with FCDA. Okay. That's where I served, that's where I worked. So I'm one of the pioneers that, that made Abuja, mm -hmm. right from 1981, 82 mm -hmm. to date. So I, I contributed my own uh, quota. Why did you then decide to go into Edo politics to contest for the status of assembly representing the Southeast? Yes, um, you see, I did that because I was looking for an avenue in life. I segmented uh, segmented my life mm -hmm. that at such a stage in my life, I should be able to go back to the people. Uh, you can't just be working, doing everything from here. I said, let me go 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 down to the to the to the grassroots, yeah. which is my constituency. Yeah. And again, things were not being done rightly. I saw a lot of things. People were not feeling the governance, mm. what governance supposed to be. Education was going down the drain, uh, insecurity. In short, I needed to go back home mm. to give them a sense of direction. That I did. Mm. That, direction, that I did. Mm. That's what prepared me. Before then, you can see a street in Abuja. There's a street today after Lagos Crescent. The next street sharing boundary with it is Ubiaja Crescent. I, I, I influenced the name of that road. Oh. Ubiaja, you may know, is my town. Mm -hmm. And again, is the cut of uh, the defunct is on the of uh, the defunct is on division. I made that thing to happen. I do, I didn't do it during politics. Mm -hmm. I did it because I love my people. Mm -hmm. I love Isa. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, that's just were how you, it is. Were you able to achieve some of these um, lofty ideas when you were in the House of Assembly? What were your achievements when you got there? Wow, how where do I start? <laughs> uh, before I got to the House. I was, a general, I was the general manager for the State Rapid Response Agency. It's present dispensation. It's present dispensation. It's, uh, I was a GM. Even as GM, I made sure that uh, ESAN benefited from our programs. Yeah. We made sure that ESAN, like, uh, let, me, let me narrow it to my constituency. Ubiaja had water flowing for the first time, portable water yeah. through borehole. Yeah. Uh, Bohemi had. Yeah. Uh, Uboha had. These were things that were never there before I got there as general manager. Mm -hmm. That is how it is. But in the House of Assembly, I served two governors. Okay. The first one year, because I only had a turn on there of four years. Uh, one year under Oshomole, mm -hmm. or with Oshomole, mm -hmm. and then the other three years with Obaseke okay. as, a, as a, a governor. The two governors, yes, were wonderful. They all had their different styles. Under Oshomole of one year, I was able to do a school, mm -hmm. which is a three a three classroom block in Ewohimi. I was able to start electric, electrical electrification of my constituency, which I power from make sure from Muromi got to Ohodwa was taken. Everything service re, re, redirected. I was able, also able to give out a lot of uh, grants to people. Okay, okay? and um, I, I I delivered the first set of desk and chairs for schools. Mm -hmm. If you go to a primary school today, you have imported desk 
and chairs. They were imported, delivered to Oran Primary School, sitting today benefiting 400, 400 pupils. They are there for anybody to see. Beside that, I had a, com a combined delivering of um, desks and tables, which I shared over, over 400 of them, 450 to be precise, which were distributed from Oyomo. All the schools in Ubiya, there were about 12 schools, up to up to um, uh, Ekogenye, up to Dakpa, up to Ahia, up to Baja. So just name it. So this is my performance today. Is in the I helped a lot of women who were doing petty trading. I also tried to empower f farmers. Then issue of education. Mm -hmm. Come on, that was very paramount to me. Okay. How do I lift the younger ones, yeah. those who are in school? Yeah. And one of the highlights about my approach to education, yes. support to my constituents, is I made sure I established, um, I started a very novel move by getting a first class uh, degree holder in mathematics mm. who read abroad to explain or teach from covering the syllabus of GSS 1 to SS3. Mm. This syllabi were all taken step by step, every topic in mathematics, because I found out that mathematics is one of the problems that our, mm. people, our, our learners always have. Yeah. And how do I solve this critical aspect? Because we want to see if we can generate their genius at the end of the day, if we can generate med medical doctors, lawyers, and mathematics is a core yeah. subject yeah. alongside with English. Yeah. So what I did, what I, what I approached first, my first approach was to have a DVD, which I did, explaining where the lecturer explained every topic. Taking this, the aim is to take the pupils away from watching just home video, home video always. So this could be their own home video and learn to help their learning while they are watching this. It will be helping their learning and understanding of mathematics. Today, that thing benefited all secondary schools from SS2 to SS3. And uh, everybody can attest to it in my local government. How were you able to whether achieve this? Whether government, mm -hmm. public, or private. Or private. Yeah. How were you able to achieve this since um, your duty as a lawmaker was simply to make laws? And um, what, what about government giving you constituency? Were you being sponsored by the government through constituency projects? Well, the issue of um, constituency project yes. or constituency funding. Yes. I can tell you, when we came in the, uh, under Osho Mole, yeah. uh, Governor Osho Mole, Osho ensured that we got what we needed to have. Okay. Yes. He's a governor I will not forget in the hurry. Okay. Yes. A very active governor, a very concerned. He was concerned about your own input because he knew that we were responsible or we are to be responsible to our constituents yeah. that voted us yeah. to, to represent them. And again... It is not just about project. Yeah. It's beyond that. Yeah. The first thing about uh, constituency is how do we, will your people feel you. What I did in that aspect was to establish constituency offices. Okay. One in constituency one, one in constituency two. Okay. So that people can, I can get closer to the people. Mm -hmm. And that is what I did. Okay. And in addition to that, I ensured that I, we had about 12 town hall meetings. Mm. 12 town hall meetings. So that the people really were feeling mean mm. at every point in time. What we're doing in Benin, what the government was doing, I was able to take it back to the people and also get their feedback. Mm. And that's what drove my, my, my performance mm. on the floor of the house. Okay. And today, uh, it's not just about all money. Mm. No, it's about what is, what is parliamentary okay. uh, uh, democracy, what mm. it's all about. Mm. It's about feeling the people. Mm. Let them know, have their, be their voice, be their eye, be their ear. Mm. And that I was able to give to them. Because at the time when I got elected, we were having a lot of uh, crimes and criminality, mm. prevalence of it. Mm. Especially, um, 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 uh, what do you call it? Uh, something, um, 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 uh, this murder, this murder okay. cases, yeah. ritual killings. Yeah. You some found dead body with the eyes removed, with yeah. the tongue removed. Yeah. It was we had about ten cases like that, mm. but with the strong voice and presentation, we put up, we got the commissioner place. The, the head of DSS, mm. 
and the head of civil defense and the 14 kings we had a summit in ubiaja to address the issue all the kings were there we had about 14 kings in presence and everybody cutting across uh party lines and we were able to brainstorm and came out with a solution that was what put stop to that so that's about that but under uh obaseki gone obaseki too Okay, we served able... under him too. Oh yes, okay. yes, and uh, we continue with the same trajectory. Mm -hmm. For example, we brought, we make sure we establish power supply, light to Ubiaja community. Mm -hmm. There was a time we had no light for nine months, nine months, and we made sure we did that by bringing in the 2.5 MVA transformer mm -hmm. that was 40. We made sure we brought another one. And that transformer was serving part of Urumi, Atani, and Ubiaja community. And uh, we brought it, it was installed. Pictures are there. Mm -hmm. All this, everybody knows about it. Then the issue was how do we, that we're owing so much mm -hmm. as it is of uh, um, outstanding debt. And uh, after much, the BDC MD was magnanimous to say, Honorable, if you can, your people can deposit 10 million as uh, an assurance will switch on the light. Nobody was forthcoming, mm -hmm. but I have to raise the money personally. Mm -hmm. I raised the money personally from my personal account, and I made sure I paid that $10 million, and light was switched on the 24th of December mm -hmm. of that year. Mm -hmm. Everybody had a fine Christmas. Why did you not recontest for the assembly again? Well, that's one of those, that, was, that was one of those vagaries of life. Okay. Uh, uh, people sometimes you as you are doing this people are not too happy with you okay. some are happy yeah. so that is how life is do you know uh, for the first, after four years four years over four years of, of darkness i made sure i did what i did in ubiaja community also in Ewohimi. i went and supported their effort gave them a draft of one million and made sure we had several meetings and light was put on in Ewohimi. so this is how it is we had established ohodua but just made for ohodua mm -hmm. after several meetings with the md to also make some payment, mm. which was not forthcoming, if not all that was already done. The person the right there now, is he, what is his effort in trying to replicate what you have done? The House of Assembly member. Wow. I unfortunately. Who is the person there now? Uh, it's um, Honorable Sunday of Jezele. Yeah. Uh, is it be funded um, in terms of consistency projects? To me, yes. Funding, consistency funding has never been. Even of Baseki's regime mm. is still ongoing. In short, it's even double what we're enjoying under um, Comrade Governor. But the complaint is not being funded. The complaint, the governor is not funding in terms of constituency projects. No, that is if the complaint. I'm here actually. I'm, I'm here. I'm actually hearing that from the background, from the constituency. And I tell people, for those who want to listen, that that is one of the biggest lie from the pit of hell. Oh, meaning the governor is funding the House of Assembly members the, are lying. The governor is funding mm -hmm. adequately. And uh, for, uh, for somebody to be going around because and he wants to have second tenor, telling his people that the governor is not funding them, that Shumole was the one that was funding, that's why Duge performed. <laughs> to me, these are just passing the buck. Okay. Do you need funding for you to have an office established? Do you need funding for you to do town hall meetings, mm -hmm. for instance? Mm -hmm. Do you need funding for you to come and discuss to your people? Mm -hmm. Let them feel you. When you are elected, you cut yourself away. Mm -hmm. To me, Obaseki should not be should not be demonized at all. Gondobas should not be demonized. What is going on? Somebody is demonizing this man, the, the governor, the, 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 our our governor. That he failed because the governor didn't fund no, his consensus. That project. he should talk about his failure, not about the governor. Okay. The governor did exactly more than what he was doing for us. Okay. That I can say for 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 for, for everybody to hear. Okay. For example. Under Governor Basaki, mm -hmm. we never enjoyed a single official vehicle. Okay. But this present crop of people with Governor Basaki as governor, seven, uh, with him, he gave them two vehicles. If it's not funding, the mem the, the, my successor should explain to the world how he was able to set up a big quarry, sand quarry in Ikobaoka, Bene City, with all the equipment, acquisition, and everything within three months of being in the house. Because if we had had the funding that our is, uh, that they are enjoying today under our mm -hmm. if we had had it in our time, I can tell you those areas, critical areas and all, there were so many things I would have been able to do. Mm -hmm. 
You understand? So what is they having today is two times, three times what we we had under Obaseki, what they are having today. Mm -hmm. So to start to go around from one corner to the other and be telling people, especially for those, he knows he just has no capacity. But for somebody who is seeking that. a second tenor um, under the present governor of Obaseki, I, I thought he should, his campaign would be that if, we, if he says the governor is not funding, it, it will be a campaign against the governor, which, of course, the governor will not be happy about. It's not strategic in terms of... Well, you see, I don't want to really dwell on this. Okay, okay. This is this is a party. Okay. This is I'm a poly, I'm, I'm I'm an APC person. Yeah. And uh, as an APC leader, state leader, I want to always, you know, narrow myself. That's why APC is trying to present. In what I'm area do you think because your because my my, my my successor yes. from APC he went along with Obaseki to PDP. Yes. And to start to demonize him, I don't know, it's for people to look at him, <laughs> look at the performance, and say, what is happening? Okay. If I do a, a, the immediate um, predecessor, mm. that's my humble self, mm. could do this and do this and do that, then what is happening here? How can the APC benefit from, from this now? The APC aspirants, can they benefit from his failure? Yes, APC is a party that talks about, that to me, in my, cons in my constituency, I insist that there should be proper primaries. Yes. Those who are aspiring should go to the field yes. and test their popularity. Yes. And that gives 30% to 35% of the general vote which already won mm -hmm. when, when that process is followed. Yes. Don't force anybody on anybody. And the APC is known not to force candidates on people. Because where they tried it, they know how they, how, how they felt the, their, the fingers of APC were burnt. <laughs> I don't think my, the party, APC, mm -hmm. will want to re replicate that in this present dispensation. PDP is left for them if they want to go on the line of failure, if they want to reinforce mm. poor performance. Mm. That is the PD, uh, PD, is, is, is a decision that PDP has to take. Okay. But again, when it comes to this election we are mm. facing now, yeah. we are talking about our constituency, yes. the people. Yes. And it, it's not about party. Because when you put the wrong person there, you still have under four years to go mm -hmm. of, of a complete mess yeah. of in ineptitude, you know. Okay. And uh, sort of um, oh, okay. Um, we will come back to the issue of uh, Eastern agenda because that is the more the, the, the discussion for the day. How everybody can come together and assist the entire Eastern land. But I want to find out from you what message do you have for the delegates because this is the time the delegates are the king as we speak. So across party lines, what message do you have for Eastern delegates? Yeah, I I always want to tell my people. That under a democracy, uh, primaries, primaries. Uh, when it comes to primaries, build up to it. You have what's called aspirants. Mm -hmm. Presently, what we are having are those who are aspiring, Aspirant, yeah. and they will only turn to be delegates after the primary elections have been carried out. Yeah. So the winner will not be the delegates mm -hmm. representing the party in the, uh, in the category of office that is seeking for. Having said all this, we I want to encourage them to carry their campaign to the people. Take it to the different wars and units. Mm -hmm. Reach out to them. Tell them what you want to do so that people can hold you to it. And in doing that, you are waking up the party, you are waking up democracy, mm -hmm. uh, the party in the constituency that is the people that must lead. Yeah. You know, the people must lead because the power rests on them. Yeah. Uh, if you are waiting for a leader to come and anoint you, <laughs> I don't think uh, that route will be the proper thing to do. It's out of, uh, out, of, out, of, out of the question. Let the people lead. Then your election, in my primaries, we went for delegate election. And on that day, votes, vote, voted with out of 200 and, some, um, um, 200 and something number of uh, delegates, I scored 200 and over 200. But the next to me got 40 something. So you can see the class difference, mm -hmm. you know. So it became, from that moment, I had 40% already moving ahead, 40% score. As a candidate now going into the election, do you election have, do you have um, uh, aspirants who you think you want to support for this election? Uh, I, uh, I had uh, as a human being, I suppose to, but under a democratic practice, I don't have any aspirant in my mind. A leader. As a leader, mm. a leader, I remain a leader. Mm. I view, like in my in the House of Assembly, I'm viewing mm. the three candidates. Yeah. I told they came to me, people came to Abuja, they came to me, and here I am. Leader, we've come to greet you. Thank you very much. Don't bring any envelope to me. You can bring your cola nut. <laughs> we share cola nut. I pray for you. Okay. But please take your campaign to every ward, every unit. 
That's my advice to all of them. There are senatorial aspirants in the local, in your, in, in SN, in your party, in the APC. There are also House of Rep uh, aspirants, and you have House of Assembly aspirants. All of these cumulatively will, um, if elected, if any one of them is elected, will all move SN uh, forward, especially yeah. what we call SR agenda, yeah. in terms of 2024, yeah. uh, in terms of governorship, yeah. in terms of sharing uh, in a dual state. Yeah. What will you tell them? The people contested for Senate now, the people contested for House of Rep and Assembly, and cumulatively making sure that the ISA agenda is achieved. Yes. You see, at this point, every party mm. is looking at, are presenting aspirants. Yes. They are presenting them and they are reaching out. They are so also APC, PDP, SDP, Labour. Mm. They are all doing all this. And they, we are all viewing them. But we're good. Uh, my advice is that we are going to look at them and make sure the best will emerge. Yeah. The best, the best that will serve the people better. Mm. The best that will know, that will go back to the party, respect the party and the leaders. That's very key. Mm. And then also have somebody that's close, close to the people. That, not that when you are elected, you, you, you cut off yourself from the people. Mm. You go and hide in Abuja. Mm. You let, just come with that. No, no, no. That's why my... My four years tenure was a kind of, um, was, was more or less like a didactic one, mm. teaching the upcoming generation. Mm. Unfortunately, the, when the person who took over from me and my successor didn't just learn anything. Mm -hmm. Come on, first and foremost, you should be able to uh, set up a machinery of communication between you and the constituents. Mm. You can't run away from them. Mm. That is why if you ask me today, I don't even like the kind of democracy we are practicing. I want to opt for parliamentary system okay. of democracy, where you don't have, uh, you don't get elected and say you have a parliament somewhere, and then that's where you go to, and you pack your teeth and go and have your house there. No, you stay with your people. Yeah. You have your office there. Do you, you tie your uh, nika in the morning. You sit down there. People yeah. come to you. Yeah. That is why they look onto you for the four years as their symbol, as their hope, as their eye, as their ear. Do, do you share this uh, um, uh, uh, idea or do you share this uh, belief that the Essan attraction in Edo State, we have Edo South, Edo Central, Edo North, do you believe that Edo Central has been marginalized in the scheme of things? Um, that is very apparent. Okay. Yes, marginalization is something that, we, that have been, um, um, that Essan people mm -hmm. have been suffering from okay. for the past years. Okay. Uh, it has never been like this until uh, anyway, what really happened is, uh, we call it marginalization, but we have to be really be careful because our son was a governor. Yeah. Was a governor before uh, Governor Oshimole came in. That's a uh, person of uh, Professor Osumbo. Whether I like it or not, the law, I mean, from the present start to today, he was a governor before Oshimole came in. So that's why after Oshimole, Dick Kena came back to Benin. But this time around, Asan is saying that in as much as we all know that um, Bas, um, 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 Professor Subos' own was short-lived, mm. just a year plus, mm. that it, this thing should not elude us. So, in short, I'm happy to do that even the those South people, my very good friend Patty Storwood, has said, nobody can shortchange ESA this time around. What is the ESA leaders doing to make sure, you know, you can't sit down there and say, yeah. oh, um, I do not, I do not, we are, we are gifting you this position. Nah. What are you guys doing to Nobody me? gives any power to anybody. Yes. You have to ask for it. What are you guys doing about what it? What we are doing is reaching out. Okay. First of all, we're putting ourselves together through different forums. Mm. Say, it's an agenda. If you go to the social space, if you go on ground, you see what the sun is doing. Self-determination. Put yourself together. And then we are also, like I said earlier, I'm reaching out to my friends, politically. And thank God the vibration I'm getting from a dosa and I do not is that is the tone of Islam this time around. At our basic government, Islam will come in. Lastly, do, do you think Islam agenda will satisfy a do agenda? Do, 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 how do you how do you differentiate? That is it. People say a do agenda is preferable to Islam agenda. No, you see, for every struggle, mm. you must give it a coinage okay. that will be. That will be people driven. Okay. Yes. You see, this time around, you don't need to hide yeah, or play any, uh, what do you call it, any sort of um, rigma rolling. Yeah. Yes, some people are asking for it. They know that it is for them, and they are asking that it should be allowed to, they should be supported to.
uh, should be supported to have it. Okay. And that's why ESA are going to present very strong candidates. Okay. Not one candidate, ESA candidates. They are going to be, they are coming out, they are being, they are being penciled down. Okay. And uh, I can assure you that from the information I got from the feed, a do not people are saying it's ESA tongue. Uh, uh, South is saying ESA tongue. And ESA people cannot fail themselves. Yes. We are moving ahead. Should in case the PDP, um, uh, uh, your opposition party, decide to give it to a do not, and uh, the APC, your party, decides to give it to a do central, what will you do? It will be an easy ride for a do central and uh, for APC. Easy ride because the APC would have, if APC gives it um, a go for the governorship, zoning it to a do central, it will be 100% vote. If it is vice versa, uh, that now that uh, if PDP goes and take it to a do not, they will be doing that at their own peri, political peri. If APC, That's, that, would be a, that would be a kamikaze. If APC gives it to a do south and PDP gives it to central? The same thing will happen, but I know APC will not do that. APC leadership today mm. under the state chairman mm. uh, and uh, even the comrade governor mm. will not dream of that. No APC leader will ever, ever in their mind, in their in their quiet or exposed moment, come to talk about say going to a dosar or go to a, no, no, it's a dosar. So it now. is central or nothing. It's central, it's central, and uh, we are reaching out. Okay. We are reaching out and we are intensifying as the time uh, as we draw nearer. Lastly, the, yeah. lastly, what's your last message for the people? My people is that uh, they should be uh, my my message to my people is that they should be circumspect. Mm -hmm. This time around, we're talking about aspirants are coming up yeah. by this weekend we are going to elect uh, the people are going to elect their, who will represent them yeah. as candidates mm -hmm. and so they should make sure they view open their eyes and they say this is a person mm -hmm. and so let it be not that this person is forced upon them so that once we have a good candidate the uh, the atmosphere will be good for general campaign mm -hmm. and into the election Thank you so very much, Honorable Fessor Sedugale, former member representing Nessa South East in the State House of Assembly for, for your time. We sincerely appreciate those of you who watched us live. And um, uh, on our YouTube channel, uh, Instagram, and uh, uh, other platforms, we appreciate all of you. Until we come your way again, take care and God bless you. Bye for now.